out with you guys if you're new here please consider to subscribe to my channel for more videos and don't forget to click on the notification bell as well and i'll see you guys soon thank you for coming and visiting once more And I appreciate those people who never forget their, you know, the back country. And that's the great thing because the roots start from there and then people come over here and work very hard and uh, you are making good progress in your future as well. And in this country there is no any difficulty. Multicultural society in here, all faiths are in here, there is no any kind of discrimination. Equality is the best in this country. And as you can see, I'm at the Lord Mayor of Birmingham, and I just used to work in the factory. I made good progress in my life. And the other thing I'm saying, the people who are in here, they should follow their elders as well. They should listen to them, because they have got good experience of their life. They know how to deal the things and how to live in this world, and you can get the good things from them as well. And I appreciate your unity because I just heard a lot of things about these things. And I think uh, that uh, your country will be very, very great if you work hard. And uh, as this charity organization it has got very talented people in here, and some doctors, some engineers, and some all of you know that categories of the lives is uh, included in there. I think that's a great thing and I am again grateful to everyone who just uh, supported this one today. I am supporting of this one because that's a very good cause for your future as well. And uh, thank you very much. I'm very grateful to you. Thanks.
gentlemen, we're going to introduce our award winners. And the first award winner, ladies and gentlemen, to hand over the evening. And I believe if you are going to make a contribution in a society, if you are going to show that you are a very useful member of any community, one of the most important things you can do is make sure you contribute to the production of talent, to the production of future leaders. And so ladies and gentlemen, there's one Sierra Leonean in the Midlands who is in fact, ladies and gentlemen, a pioneer in education, a man who's ensured that he's able to pass on his knowledge, a man who has shown that very finest quality of being African, the idea that you are able to show that you value knowledge. In fact, ladies and gentlemen, one of the proudest statistics I have in my head that I would never forget is the one that states that in mighty United Kingdom, the most highly performing school children in this country are in fact from Sierra Leone. In the top 10, a top 10 that includes China, India, Sierra Leone, tiny Sierra Leone is there. But you might think it's such a mouthy guy, he's got an afro. Check the statistic yourself. So ladies and gentlemen, it's just fitting that our first recipient for tonight is somebody who would make tremendous contribution to education of children and young adults in the West Midlands. His name is Mr. Ambrose Koroma. Mr. Ambrose Koroma is so successful that he's been honored several times by the mayor of Dudley. And he's here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Please welcome Mr. Ambrose Koroma. And he's not there to handle the honor Executive of one salon, members of one salon, I'm highly honored to be here today and grateful to be receiving this award because of my contribution to education in the West Midlands. I'm just going to tell you briefly what I actually do. In 2008, while I was still a teacher in school, my wife and I bought a franchise, and from that franchise, I was able to open a center in Dudley, the High Street in Dudley. Now, there are 120 students who go through me every week. Now, among these students, 80% are Asians, 15% are Africans, 5% are whites. Now, among these African students, I've got students from Burundi, Nigeria, Ghana, Cameroon, you name it. But unfortunately, I've only got one Sierra Leone student. I'm here today to appeal to the Sierra Leone community. I had all my education in Freetown, my university education in the UK, I want to help my people. So this is a special appeal to yourselves. Now what do we do? We prepare children for the year six exams, which is a selective assessment test. We prepare children for the grammar school exams, nine to 10 year old. Prepare GCSE students at the age of 16. And we do English, maths, and science up to A level. My centre is oversubscribed. I even have people on a waiting list. This is because of my hard work. I also want to dedicate 
This award to my wife, Mrs. Salima Tekuruma. Because he has been the inspiring woman behind me. They say, for every successful man, there is a strong woman. And she's the one who's motivating me since that time to now. There were times when I was going through some difficulties, teaching in school and running the business. She had to give up her time as a social worker to run the center. Mrs. Koruma, this is also for you. I'd like to thank Mr. Sam Fofana for his interest in coming to my center to see what I do. I also want to thank the executive of One Salon for coming together and giving me an award after I've been in the Midlands for over 30 years. I'm very, very grateful. Ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you all and I thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, can we give them a round of applause, please? Mr. Ambrose Corona and the Lord Mayor of Birmingham City.